Today we're going to learn about value in art. Value is the lightness or darkness of an image and all the different shades of gray in between and knowing when to use them and what they're for. Value can help show um, contrast in your image. For example, you can take something dark on the value scale and put it next to something light on the value scale like in this image of these silhouettes of the palm trees. The dark palm trees are put in front of a light background, helping them to stand out really well in this artwork. Value is often used in directing the eye on where to look in this image. For example, in this image of this tree, we look right at the tree because we've got a lot of contrast between the tree and the background. There's also some darker values around the edges of the image, creating a vignette, kind of guiding our eye toward the center. Value is also used in adding light and shadow to an image. So for example, you use lighter values on the value scale for the highlights and the light area of an object, and you'd use darker values um, as the object goes away from the light, so in the shadow area, so it gets dark over here, and you could even use uh, the full black on the cast shadow, as in this example here. Here's another um, object using value in this case, it's not a plain sphere, it's a pumpkin. So we've got light on one side, getting darker and darker toward the opposite side. So the more steps of value you can show from your value scale, generally the more um, rich your item will look when you are um, drawing or painting. Today we're going to create a 10-step value scale using uh, Klecky.com. So K-L-E-K-I dot com. You'll want to create a new image, so click File, then New. You can type in 1200 for the width and 800 for the height. These are pixels, so the ratio is 3 to 2, and just push OK. Then you want to zoom out so that you can see the entire image. First, let's go to the layers and create a new layer by clicking the plus sign. I'll go ahead and turn the um, opacity down on my bottom layer so that we get this uh, gray checkerboard pattern. That just means that there's nothing drawn here right now. It's all uh, see-through. Now I'll go back to my brush tab. I'll turn the size up on my brush about like this and I'll put in um, a full black space about like this. Then I'll go all the way white, just dragging the color all the way to this corner, and I'll put in a full white space on this side. Then I'll drag this in the middle, as close to the middle as I can get, and I will make a space in the middle. So this would be a three-step value scale, so now we're going to fill in the gaps. So what I will do next is make one right in the middle from all the way uh, gray to all the way black. I'll come in between about here. Then I'll go from all the way, well, from this space to this space. That's about here. Now I'm going to choose my color picker to get back to my middle square that I've chosen. So I click on this color picker and I click right on the gray and it gets me to that spot. Now I need to go from this gray to this gray, so that would be a little bit lower, about here. I'll choose the middle gray again and I'll go right in between the white and the gray about here. Then I've got to find those in between colors for here and here. So I'll go a little darker for this one. I'll choose this color and then I'll go a little lighter for this one. So we've got a nine step value scale going up from all the way dark to all the way light. Next, 
we'll do the same thing but we'll try to make a gradient where it has a smooth transition from dark to light. So this time I'm making a new layer and I'll get all of these colors and paint them again but I'm gonna let them run together. So I'm using my color picker. I'm clicking on each color one at a time. It's just getting a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. Now I'll come to the blending brush, which is here. I'll turn the opacity all the way down and I'll turn the blending all the way up and I'll just make this little circular motion on all of the seams. Just trying to have a blend from all the way dark to all the way light. Just blending the seams, using the blending brush, rubbing out those seams. So now, as you can see here, we have what's called a gradient, where the color goes in a smooth transition from dark to light. So it's going from all the way dark to all the way light. It shows the same amount of values in there, but it's in one smooth transition. Next, we're going to make two objects that use um, at least five of these shades in a value study. So I'm going to come to layers. I'll make one more layer, and this will have the objects on it. I'll choose black. I'll choose my regular brush. And we'll start out by drawing a cube. You can zoom in if you need to to make that easier for you. Hold down the space bar and click and drag to get to your section on the canvas that you need. So I'm just going to draw a box. Here's a shortcut. If you hold down the shift key while you draw, you'll make a perfectly straight line. So I'm just clicking and dragging to make a straight line, clicking and dragging to make a straight line while I'm holding down the shift key. Now let go of the shift key and you can add a diagonal line just have it leaning to the upper right like that and connect those lines together to create your cube. So I've got a cube here and I want to add some colors from this value scale. So I'm going to get, uh, I'll start with maybe number nine here. I'll hold down my uh, option key to choose the color or I can push the color picker and choose number nine and I'll fill in the right side of this box with number nine. Then I'll go with uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five, maybe number five for the top. Maybe it's getting a little bit of light from the top side here, maybe like that. Then maybe I'll go for a number three for the very front of the box. So maybe the light is coming from the front side, almost like the lower left in this case. And I can fill in the front of my cube here. And then I can go ahead and put in, uh, let's try number 10 for a cast shadow going behind like this. And that looks pretty good. I just used uh, values right from my value scale that I just made. Now let's try the gradient and we'll try that on a sphere. 
So I'll start with I'll start with number nine again. And I'll just draw a circle with number nine. Then I'll go with uh, maybe one, two, three, four, maybe number four. Oh, that's quite a big jump. So I think I'm going to add uh, number number six, maybe just a little row of number six here. And then I'll go to number three. Number two. And I'll save number one for a highlight, but I won't add that yet. So then I'll switch to the blending tool. I'll turn my opacity all the way down, the blending all the way up. And I'll just rub out these seams to help them blend together. So we did something similar when we did this on the Apple project, but now we're doing it in black and white so we can see uh, those values kind of blending together. And we want to be able to see the transition from dark to light. I think I'll add a little bit more of the dark. And maybe actually I'll add a touch of number 10 on the bottom. Oops, I'm still on the blending tool. No, let me just try, let me try number 9. Yeah, that's pretty dark. And then I'll go back to the blender and try to blend that in. Sometimes when you're blending, you have to do a little bit of give and take. You can put a little down and blend it in and put in a little more until you get the nice blend that you're looking for. Okay, so now I'll go in for the cast shadow. And I think I'll put that cast shadow about here. Oh, that's the blending tool still. I'm going to do the regular brush tool going to get that black. We'll put in the cast shadow behind about like this. And I think I'll erase that edge just a little bit like this. And I'll use the blending tool and just blend that edge a little bit for my cast shadow. Okay. So we have a sphere and a cube, and we used the nine-step value scale and this gradient um, to help us in our drawing. Now the last thing I want to do is add pure white for a highlight on my sphere. I'll put that about there, maybe about like that. So this this would be ready to turn in. So I went to my bottom layer. I turned this all the way up. My pure whites disappeared, but that's all right. If you have a space there, I'll know you meant to put a pure white there and I'll be able to see it as the highlight as well. So then I'm ready to save, file, save, and that will save to my downloads and then I can upload that to the assignment. Nine step value scale, cube, and sphere.